Hello everyone and welcome back to Papal Patron Week. Today I'm finishing the Smashing Pumpkins Siamese Dream album. Okay, we have four more songs left. Yes. Okay, so next one is Space Boy. Okay, let's go. Hello Space Boy. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that ending was, but okay. <laughs> Whoo, well, that was like a really hypnotizing song. They have a lot of those like, hypnotic songs. Beautiful strings. It was really soft. I don't know, I, I like the ambience of this song. Also, the singing. Yeah, he had some nice moments there, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this song. Nice little song. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll move on. Next one is Silver Fox. Okay. Ooh. Well, this is gonna be heavier. Got the drums already. Oop. Oh. Ooh. My god, the drums on this song. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Drumming. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay, well, first of all, those drums, oh my god, amazing. And the guitars, like those noises, like. <laughs> it was really interesting, definitely. And love the part when they dropped everything and it was just the bass. And then he comes in with his voice and like... I don't even remember because that section was really long. <laughs> I feel like this song could have been like... At least two minutes shorter. Because <laughs> like that middle section is really cool. I loved it when it started. And then it was... I don't know, they were dragging it out a little bit, you know, it, I, they really did build up the anticipation and I'm, I was like, okay, okay, what's gonna happen? And then it, you know, they kind of ruined it a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it was a little bit long, too long, but I love the transition there when he's like, what, what did he say? Like, bang, bang, you're dead. Something, something, hole in your head. I can't remember, but it was really, really cool. And then, bah, when it comes back and all of that, it's just the mighty drums. My God, amazing. Definitely love that part. Yeah, I guess this is a really experimental song. It didn't have to be this long, but cool song nonetheless. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is the shortest one on the album, Sweet Sweet. Is it the instrumental only, or is it an actual song? Let's find out. This is sweet. <laughs> Okay.
Nice. It's so short, but so sweet. Okay, well, I don't have too much to say about this song. It's really sweet <laughs> and uh, feels really uplifting. Uh, but yeah, I wish it was uh, longer. Really nice song. Okay, it's time for the last song, Luna. Okay, let's go. Ooh. That's nice. Well, what a beautiful song to end the album with. Wow. I really like this one. Sweet Sweet and Luna really go together well. <laughs> Man, I kind of wish I didn't stop after Sweet Sweet and just let it transition into Luna and just continue listening to it. I like that they ended the album with a more mellow track. Definitely, I feel like I like their softer side more. The, not, not that they can't rock, because they can. Like, those faster songs are great. And his voice also goes well with more gentler, mellow tracks, like this one. 
They were also more melodic on their song. I like that. Some of their songs really have like this hypnotic, nostalgic even vibe to them. Like I was drifting away listening to some of those songs. Um, I guess it's time for the review. All right, I'm back. I listened to the album a couple of times and now it's review time. The mix was great. It's really layered. I really think that the production on this album is great. Like, it's so tight. Also great atmosphere on the album. And great order of the songs. Or... Uh, what's it called? Pacing, I guess. Great pacing. And now the vocals. Well, <laughs> as you know by now, I'm not the biggest fan of his voice. But his voice was really growing on me as the album progressed. So now I'm like... Yeah, yeah, I, I actually do like his voice. In a way. <laughs> I mean, I definitely like his delivery on more, like, slower, mellow songs. But, yeah. I mean, he definitely gave a really passionate performance, no doubt about that. So, yeah, all in all, good job, Billy. The guitars. Well, the guitars in Smashing Pumpkins, oh my god. Like, so unique. Love the tone. Like, you immediately know it's them. I mean, I can already, like, recognize their style and their tone. Great riffs, great solos, loved all the little intricate things they were doing. The guitars really stood out to me the most on this album, so... Now the bass! It was really good, prominent in the mix, we had some great bass lines, so yeah. I'm satisfied with bass here. The drums! Great drumming in all of the songs, we had some great drum fills, and like he was just consistently great in all of the songs. I don't know, I like his uh, drumming, especially in the Geek USA and Silver Fox, so yeah. But uh, overall, he was great in all of the songs. Now, my favorite songs. I guess. I don't know, like I really enjoyed all of the songs, but let's see. Soma. It was amazing, absolutely love that song. Quiet was great, Hammer, Mayonnaise, Space Boy, Luna, um, First Song is also great, Rocket was great too, um, <laughs> that's like half of the album already. <laughs> like honestly though, there is no bad songs on this album. I mean obviously some are better than the others, but it depends on like personally who likes what more. I don't know what else to say. Um, just great songwriting. It's a really creative album. You know, I, I quite liked it. And they really proved that they can just do a lot of different things, you know. They can be... They can go from like really heavy stuff to like really slow and soft and emotional stuff. Like we had some mellow songs, we had some spacey psychedelic songs, we had some like really heavy almost metal songs. I mean, not metal, but, you know, the guitars and all that. The sound was really heavy. Okay. So, yeah, really great blend of styles. I don't know if I forgot anything. Oh, the strings were great. And also how they can do, like, acoustic songs and, like, really heavy rock songs. So that's great. Oh, I didn't talk about the album cover, which is Two Little Girls. So, yeah. I, I don't know what to say about it. It's also like nostalgic. I don't know, I feel nostalgic looking at this album cover. Alright, I probably forgot something, but oh well. I really like this album, it was great. I definitely look forward to listening to more Smashing Pumpkins. So let me know what's the next song or album I should check out. I would like to do like a singular song. I want to check out the lyrics as well, so that would be something that I prefer for the next uh, Slashing Pumpkins reaction. Where's the um, Bullet with Butterfly Wings from? I really like that song. That's... I, I still think that that's my favorite Slashing Pumpkins song. Alright, so let me know what's the other good song from the album where Bullet with Butterfly Wings is from. So yeah, I wanna check out the song from that album. Alright, so yeah, that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for uh, 
the person who recommended this album. Thank you so much. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.